He that cometh to the Lord must believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Jesus, what a wonder you are. Thank you for your blood that was shed at Calvary. Thank you for the life that we have because you rose from the dead. Good morning, Holy Spirit, and welcome. Welcome in this place. Welcome in this fourth watch hour. Welcome into our lives, into our struggles, into our joys, into our celebration, into our tears, into our brokenness, into our strength. Welcome into our lives. Take full control. All of you and none of us. Father, by your spirit, we prophesy this morning that we are blessed and highly favored, that we are seated with you in heavenly places, that we are the anointed of God, that we are called to purpose. We prophesy that our family is blessed, our businesses are blessed, our jobs are blessed, our finances are blessed. Oh, Father, we prophesy that we are healthy. No illness, no sickness, no disease, no infirmity shall come nigh us. We cancel, cramp and paralyze every assignment of the enemy that is called sickness and disease. We prophesy health. We prophesy strength. We prophesy that we will run and not be weary and walk and not faint. We prophesy that from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet, by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit, the word of God says, by your stripes, Lord Jesus Christ, we are healed. And so I speak healing this morning to the people of God. I speak healing to this fourth watch hour. I speak healing to this fourth watch family. I speak healing to every person past, present, and future. I speak healing to our nation. I speak healing to our family. I declare that salvation is the portion of our families, our community, and our nation. I speak prosperity and good success to our lives, our family, our community, and our nation. I declare that we are more than conquerors through you, Christ Jesus, who love us. And therefore, as the enemy comes one way, he will flee seven ways. A thousand shall fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come nigh us. For only with our eyes shall we behold and see the reward, the scattering, the destruction of our enemies, the destruction of the walls that the enemy has set up around us. I declare that every Fort Watch family member, the chains are broken, 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 Freedom has come to the Fourth Watch family in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare every mental chain broken, gone in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak your healing on this healing Tuesday, O Lord. I declare that we are healed, delivered, set free, and made whole. I declare that as we call upon the name of Jesus, all oh, the wondrous works of the Lord Jesus Christ is falling upon the fourth watch family in this fourth watch hour. Ah, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, we cry out, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. As you say the name Jesus, as you say the name Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, as you declare that name, come on people of God, declare that name. As you come in, don't try to warm up, just begin to declare the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is something about that name. There is no other name by which men can be saved. There is no other name by which men can be set free. There is no other name by which your help come. There is no other name by which we access heaven. There is no other name by which we cast out devils. There is no other name by which we heal the sick. There is no other name by which we are baptized. There is no other name by which righteousness, holiness, and truth come to us. There is no other name by which we are delivered hallelujah and so we declare the name of jesus christ with confidence we declare the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth with confidence we declare that the lord jesus christ shed his efficacious blood that we might be redeemed that we might have access uh, that we might 
access a covenant, a covenant that is that cannot be broken, a covenant that is kept up to generations. And so this morning on Healing Tuesday, today on Healing Tuesday, tonight on Healing Tuesday, whatever time you are accessing Healing Tuesday, I declare that by the strength, the power, and the authority of the name of Yeshua the Amashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are healed. We are delivered. We are healed from our financial struggles. Every spirit of poverty, lack, and insufficiency, I break and cancel your assignment now. Every spirit of lowly bar, I cancel your assignment now. Every spirit of barely getting by, every spirit of abortion, I cancel your assignment now. In the name of Jesus Christ, every abortive spirit, that stops the people of God from flowing in their lives, from flowing in purpose, from accomplishing purpose, or for even stepping into purpose. Ah, you are bosh and spirit. I break your powers now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that is, 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 is designed to cause our children to go into rebellion, every Jezebel spirit and every spirit ah, stimulated by Jezebel, we cancel your assignment this morning and we declare fire 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 upon you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I declare this day is the day when freedom has come freedom has come to the name of, of, of the people to this fourth watch hour to the people of God fourth watch family I declare an uprooting right now an uprooting come on by faith by faith begin to uproot everything that is in your house in your family in your business that is not of God come on uproot 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 everything that is happening to your family everything that is happening to you everything that is happening to your children uh, everything that's happening to your marriage everything that's happening to your finance everything that is happening to your health uproot now uproot uproot i uproot cancer i uproot diabetes i uproot hypertension i uproot every medical this every disorder in the body i uproot heart disease i uproot kidney failure i uproot i uproot i uproot in the name of Jesus Christ, I uproot uh, arthritis. I uproot rheumatoid arthritis. I uproot uh, brain, brain, brain disorders. Hallelujah. Every growth, fibroids, I uproot you in the name of Jesus. Come on, people of God. Begin to uproot. Begin to uproot. Begin to uproot. Come on. The gun has already fired. We are out of the blocks. There is no there is no time to jog now. This is a, a, a 400 meter sprint, a 100 meter sprint, a 200 meter sprint. There is no time to warm up or the race will be over before we get into our running gear we got to come ready we've been in training we got to as soon as the gunfire 5 a.m we got to be in full gear we are uprooting out of our lives this is healing tuesday healing tuesday we are uprooting and healing we are uprooting and healing i release the virtue that the lord jesus christ released to the woman with the issue of blood i release that virtue upon you now in the name of jesus christ whatever ails you lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, as we call upon your name, Lord, cause a miraculous move of your spirit in the lives of every fourth watch family member, whether they're on now or they will be on later. Lord, let the moment they hear these words, your hand move upon them, your Holy Spirit manipulate the circumstance that concerns them your holy angels defend them your holy angels heal deliver set free them ah lord let virtue impart to your people now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, people of God, if you can believe it, just hold your hand before the screen like this. Virtue is about to hit your hands. Fire is about to hit your hands. Come on, come on, come on. We got to get warmed up now. We are believing by faith that whatsoever we desire, God will do it and take us higher. We have went through, we have gone through three days of fasting and we are believing God for intimacy and the intimacy that God produces in us and through us must produce fire must produce virtue must produce healing must produce deliverance must produce hallelujah deliverance 
in the name of Jesus Christ. And so receive virtue now. Receive virtue Facebook. Receive virtue Instagram. Receive virtue YouTube. Anyone who is looking on, hallelujah, at this moment, virtue, 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 hallelujah. We speak that virtue right now in the name of Jesus. Virtue is now your mantle in the name of Jesus. I send the mantle of virtue to you now in the name of Jesus Christ and as you put on that virtue from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet virtue is moving up and down through your body and you are now healed you are now delivered you are now set free but you are healed to go you are healed to shine the light you are healed to go find someone and impart that virtue unto them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and so we thank you Lord we thank you for the virtue hallelujah that you have sent forth and we thank you that that virtue hallelujah will heal will set free will bring confidence will bring joy will bring peace to our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth our oh, father we just ask that even now uh sachel 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 we break every stagnant spirit every spirit that has stagnated the people in the fourth watch we break that stagnant spirit now we command you to come out of that prison right now sachel come out of that prison that prison of stagnation devil you're a liar the lord jesus christ rebuke you that spirit that has been assigned to sachel and so many other persons in the fourth watch hour but after friday no spirit that keeps us in lowly bar no spirit that keeps us in slothfulness no spirit that keeps us in depression or oppression shall have any part or lot with us we will run and not be weary and walk and not faint we are excellent come on sashel say it now if you're on this morning come on declare after me i am excellent i am, I am the best i am blessed i am, blessed. I am highly favored I can do all things do through all Jesus, things. Christ Jesus Christ of Nazareth who strengthens me. Who strengthens me. I, am I am not a failure. I am victorious. I am, victorious. I am more than a conqueror. I, than a conqueror. I, tear I tear up walls. I dig up what is planted that is not of God in my life. And I plant the olive plant in my life. I am a palm tree. I am a palm tree. I am, I am a cedar tree. I am a mango tree. I, am a mango tree. I, bear, good I bear good fruit. And nothing shall stop me. And nothing shall stop me. This, is my season. this is my season. God's given me a reason. God has given me a reason. And I will not commit treason. And I, will not commit treason. I will not speak against my future. I will not speak against my, I will not speak against my finances. I will not speak against my family. I will not speak against my health. I will not speak against my health. But I will speak life. But I will speak life. Life to myself. Life to myself. Life to my family. Life to my family. Life to my community. Life to my community. And life to my nation. And life to my nation. And as I speak life, Lord. And as I speak life, Lord. May life manifest. May life manifest. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So shall the spirit of stagnation is now gone. It had to leave. It had to leave. Hallelujah. But you have to ensure that it stay gone by the power of your tongue. Come on. I place before you this day life and death, blessing and curse. Choose life. Hallelujah. So, Sashel, you have to try your best. Get an accountability partner. My wife is my accountability partner. Every time I say something, even in jest, even if I didn't mean it that way, no matter how simple it is, oh, man, sometimes my belly feel weak when she challenged me on some things, but I got to just get back into myself, come out of my feelings. Come on, somebody. We have too much feelings. We're caught up in too much feelings that keeps us in low the bar. We're caught up in too much feelings that keep us in prison. We're caught up in too much feelings spirit man does not get ruled by feelings come on yeah, hallelujah you see it that's yes that's right power. i like i like i like to use <coughs> but i don't like to use but i often use the term throw somebody under the bus yes. it's a term figurative that means it's figurative right that means um when you when you when you out someone when you tell uh that this is the person that did the thing but it is not this it's this Amen? Because we are not supposed to throw anyone under the bus, literally or figuratively. Come on, somebody. And so when you say, 
throw them under the bus. Satan does not, his, Satan's demons are not smart enough to know that you're speaking figuratively and they don't care. Mm -hmm. Jesus it said, you will tear days, down this building and in three days, days I'll build it up again. And they said, yes, you said you're going to tear down the temple that took 40 years to build. How dare you? And they crucified him on that lie. And the Bible states clearly that he was talking about the temple of his life. Amen. So we have to learn from that and recognize that whatsoever we say, we are responsible for in the ears of the demons and devils who yes. desire to carry it out. Because when you say, uh, if you throw them under the bus, the angels don't move. That's not their assignment. They don't do that. But demons move. And they throw somebody under the bus. Probably the, your, 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 your wife, probably your spouse, probably your children, probably your, whoever it is that you have said this to. Satan's assignment is to go and find a bus to throw them under. Mm -hmm. It might be the bus of poverty. It might be the bus of sickness and disease. Mm -hmm. It might be the bus of low bar or stagnation. The it might be the bus of, 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 of failure or of accident. It might be a literal bus. Mm -hmm. Or it might be a spiritual bus, whichever. Mm -hmm. But I am saying to you, if you do not want to see a thing come to pass, people of God, do not say it. Mm -hmm. Think first. Do not say it. When the Bible says in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Acknowledge him even in your very thought. And each day ask him. Part of why we acknowledge him is to say, Lord, help me today that all of my thoughts and my words and my actions will be according to your will. That it will be a sweet savor in your nostril. That I will not say anything that I do not want to see come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to read a testimony that someone just wrote on the page. It says, last night, hallelujah, Elaine Johnson, thank you for this testimony. I'm thanking you before I even read it. Amen. Glory to God. Last night, my flat, my flat, my flat night. Flat mate. Oh, my flat mate. Sorry. Last night, my flat mate started struggling to breathe. She is in her late 60s, hallelujah, and has not been keeping good health. I got my bottle, my bottle of Vicks and laid my hands on her and began praying, hallelujah. I proceeded to massage her back and chest area and when she started breathing better, I sent her to bed. I looked in on her at 3 a.m. She was okay. Just now she got up breathing normally we spent a couple minutes last night reminding each other of Abba's faithfulness. It encouraged both of us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 What a good God. I'm saying to you guys, too many times situations like these occur and we have to run and call somebody. We have to dial the... the, the taxi to go to the hospital we have to call a doctor we have to call someone to pray when there when god is just giving us an opportunity to demonstrate his zoephus life in and through us and so we have to gain that access that zoephus access and that zoephus demonstration that light that life that shines that others can give glory unto the lord Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And so on this Healing Tuesday, hallelujah, I just want to declare some words over you. I, I just feel a declaring spirit this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, so for the next couple of minutes, I'm just going to be declaring, hallelujah, some stuff. I'm breaking some stuff because we have to get out there. That woman of God, Elaine, I, I, I thank God for you. I thank God for your confidence. I hope that you continue to grow, to evolve, and to become someone who you know um, I, I don't know about persons from other nations but in Jamaica we we, we, we have some people that are um, operating in an unsavory way they have what is called a church and they have some flags on those church that go high up in the sky that from anywhere they're, 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 they're good marketing people um, whenever you see those flags on those long poles red and green and orange and all these kinds of um, colors on these homes or, um, or, 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 or whatever establishment it is once you see those flags uh, most Jamaicans will know what that means hallelujah 
and um and that's the place where you go if you want any kind of spiritual help are you hearing me somebody i don't know how it is in tobago um joseph my brother you need to tell me but where those people are who who um who perform spiritual things with machete and candles and and um and water and and and, and blood and all these things and in Jamaica, they they have they use flags to indicate where you go, and people flock from every sector of society to those flags because they 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 are convinced that when they go into that building and they meet that man who they call bishop or whatever they call that woman, uh, that they're gonna get spiritual help. I'm saying to you, our homes, our business place, our office, our desk. Come on, somebody. Come on, Joseph. Your desk must not, must not just be the place where co-workers come to get their IT problems fixed, where, where people come to find out about what's going on in the ministry. They must come to get spiritual help as well. They must come to start breathe again. They must come to start see again. They must come to start hear again. They must come to know again. Come on, somebody. They must come to be refreshed. Ah, last Saturday, I was so tired, man. I just been going and going and 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 I left from ministering at a, at a church early, early in the morning, Marsha and I, and then we went to Hope Gardens for the daily devotion. And by the time I sat down, hallelujah, normally I'd be walking around and, and, and praying and getting ready for the ministry time. And I, I could only just sit down. And as I sat down, I felt my head just like I was, I was about to fall asleep. But you know, when you have a good wife, she sees in the spirit and she saw that there was a burden of tiredness that was upon me, but the work had to get done. And so she asked one of the guys there to just, just delicately and discreetly come and lay hands on me and begin to pray. And I'm telling you, God is so good. We got to testify when it, when it's small. You men don't like to testify. Well, I'll testify for you. And I'm telling you, my eyes were shutting down and I felt like I didn't have the energy. And plus, you know, we're fasting, so that make it even I don't, I, normally I would say that make it even worse but we don't speak like that anymore nothing is worse for us that makes it even better because my <laughs> accord, if I, come on that's what I'm talking about we have to practice yes, set our hearts to practice come on hallelujah strength, yes so you're gaining spiritual strength but you're losing f physical strength in the meantime because your physical strength is what is deterring your spiritual strength yes. <laughs> in the first place and so I'm there and I'm, 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 I'm walking and I'm struggling. And the man of God just came over, put his hand on me and began to pray. And I'm telling you, man, I felt the move of God. And I was able to go even beyond what I was planning to do after that. Amen. And so we have to be the source of our spiritual power. See, Marilyn yesterday gave the testimony of how she was praying and God gave her a revelation. God gave her a download. God gave her a rhema word concerning her daughter and her daughter's profession. If we are not the source, come on somebody, I'm getting excited. If we are not the source through which our family, our community and our nation gets turned around, then what purpose do we serve? Meditate on that for 10 seconds. This morning, I want to be like Antipat last, uh, last Friday. I want us to recognize that we are not only to come out of slothfulness, but we must become the answer. You must set your face like flint to become the answer to every person's spiritual need that is around you. Because every need that is spiritual, that needs to be filled, spiritual and natural, is in the Holy Spirit. Are you hearing me? And so if the Holy Spirit is in you any at all, come on, I'm preaching this morning. If the Holy Spirit is in you any at all, it means that you have become the answer, the repository of everything that ails mankind. Even in China, people are supposed to get a vision in China that there is a person and this is their number and they live in Jamaica or they live in Canada or they live in America or they live in Tobago or they live in St. Lucia or they live in wherever England wherever it matters not and when the phone rings and the person said and he said what's this where are you calling from I am calling from China I am a Christian and the spirit of the Lord woke me up last night and say that I should call this number who are you and he said I am Joseph Baptiste a man of God from Tobago what can I do for you? 
What is your need? This is not a story, guys. I'm telling you, I'm prophesying. This will happen if you believe. Hallelujah. He says, I have been diagnosed with cancer and they say that I am on my last days. But the spirit of the Lord woke me up and told me to call you because you have a healing anointing by the spirit of God that can fix my issue. And you don't bother with the long talking and the long thing because the man calling long distance from China. Come on, don't waste his credit. You just get right to it. Cancer, I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hook you in his belly. I hook you in his organs. And I hook you in his blood. And I pull you out now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Loose him now in the name of Jesus. And then you declare right now, man of God, all the way in China, like the servant of the centurion, it is well. For virtue has hit you. And he will tell you right now. Oh, I feel good. I feel good. Santa, thank you, man of God. I feel good. I feel good. I feel like I am ready. I feel like running. I feel like skipping. I feel like praising the Lord. Thank you, man of God. I will call you next week when I do the test again. And give you the testimony of God's goodness. And you go back to sleep. And say, thank you, Lord. For your anointing. Thank you for your spirit that lives in me. It sounds like a, a, a far-fetched situation. But it's not. Because Jesus did it. And he said that which we see, you see me do. That you will do. And even greater works. You just got to desire it. And when you desire it. You got to love people enough. That if they call you at 3 o'clock in the morning. You know you have to get up at 5 for, for, for devotion. You still pray them through. And sometimes you don't even get to go back to bed. You stay up right through devotion and then go back to sleep after that. Hallelujah. But we got to pay a price so that we can live nice. And people who know us can live nice as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Testimony again from Debbie 10. Remember this week we're doing testimonies in between the ministry. Hallelujah. But we're desiring to come up higher. Fourth Watch family members must be known for our anointing. Must be known for the glory of God coming through us. Amen. Lives must be saved. Because people have access to us. Come on. Hallelujah. David 10 says, I've been having a pain in my left wrist on and off. But since Sunday, it got intense. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Opportunity for miracle. Yesterday when I got up, I could not use it after. After devotions, I went to lay down crying out to Abba and instantly he spoke to me. He told me to rub it with garlic as it's natural and it's a natural antibiotic. I am so happy I was obedient to Abba. As the day wore on, I started using my hand. The lump that was there is dissolved and the pain gone. Glory to his holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you for that testimony, Debbie. I feel, look here, <laughs> only Marsha could tell you how I'm covered in, cool, in, in, in goosebumps. Guys, Debbie 10 could have asked us yesterday to pray. And we would have prayed and God would have delivered. But guess what? Debbie 10 would not have known a formula through which she, by the yes, Spirit so of God that is in her, yes. can help someone else. Yes. Are you hearing me? Come on, God is building each of us individually. God is when you are completely dependent on other people for your answer. You must now be the answer to other people's problems. We are all the answer to each other's problems, you know, by the Spirit of God that is in us. But we must be the answer to someone else too and sometimes our own answer. Amen? Hallelujah. Yes, woman of God, you are saying something? Hallelujah. Okay, it's time for word. Glory to God. All right, let me just declare a couple of words and then we go into word in 10 sec 30 seconds. Hallelujah. And so in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I break and disannul all ungodly covenants, oaths, and pledges that have been made by members of this Fort Watch family over their lives, over their family, over their city, over their, con over their country. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every ungodly covenant and oaths sworn by our mouths, we repent and we cancel them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord... 
Lord. I repent. I repent. And disannul. And disannul. Every ungodly covenant. Every ungodly covenant. Oaths. Oaths. And pledges. And pledges. That I have made. That I have made. And I have declared. And I have declared. Over my family. Over my family. Over myself. Over myself. Over my community. Over my community. Over my nation. Over my nation. Over my government. Over my government. Over my church people. Over my church people. Church leaders. Church leaders. I cancel them now. I cancel them now. And ask your forgiveness. And ask them forgiveness. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I renounce. I renounce. And break. And break. All ungodly oaths. All ungodly oaths. Made by my ancestors. Made by my ancestors. To idols. To idols. To demons. To demons. To false religions. To false religions. Or ungodly organizations. Or ungodly I break them now. I break them now. I destroy those covenants now. I destroy those covenants I destroy now. those oaths now. I destroy those oaths now. I destroy those pledges now. I destroy those pledges now. By fire. By fire. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just those two for today. We'll do two more or so tomorrow in the name of Jesus. But as we are loosed from ungodly covenants, that's when we are free to go forth into godly covenants. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. And a godly covenant is demonstrated or accessed when all the things that were holding you back have released you. So you can go forth. Debbie Ten was released from the ungodly covenant that she made that every time she feels sick, doctor is the only port. Doctor must stop getting our money. Are you hearing me? I have nothing against doctors. But there are 7 point odd billion people in the world. If doctor no longer gets the money from every Fort Watch family members, they will not die of hunger. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hearing me? There are more people who do not believe what we believe than who believe what we believe. So doctors will not be hungry. So don't feel sad for doctors and say, no man, I have to sometimes go to the doctor because I have a little pain here and a pain there. I can't bother pray. Make the doctor eat the food. No, of somebody else in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray for them and pray that other people will go to them and that they will get saved. And when the people come, instead of conventional medicines, instead of medicine from, 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 from these tubes and tablets and stuff, they will lay hands on them and they will recover. But the doctors will not die of hunger. We must live free in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. We have been set free from ancestral covenants and oaths and pledges. Hallelujah. And therefore, all generational curses have been broken from us. Every generational curse of sickness and disease broken Hallelujah. this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. My grandmother, my father, my grandfather and his children, hallelujah, have been walking in diabetes and hypertension as a, as a generational curse. But we declare that that generational curse broken stops now. It's broken by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is any generational curse coming down through your bloodline, declare that it is broken this broken, morning by broken, these oaths broken. and pledges that we have severed ourselves from. Hallelujah. Sometimes your father or your grandfather said, Lord, me, me, me diabetes, Lord, me hypertension. Uh, me, and, and they put their name or the, the, the title that represents them to a sickness and disease and it just takes set, take root, pass down through their generational loins, their umbilical cords and come down to us unsuspectingly, unknowingly and then we own it as well because when we go to the doctor, the doctor says, is there anyone in your family that has this disease? And he say, yes, my mother and my grandmother did and my grandfather did. Hallelujah. And he says, well, it is a family trait. No, it's not a family trait. It's a generational curse. Yes, it is. And it will only get worse. Unless you go into your spiritual purse mm -hmm. and pay the price through your declaration. Come on, hallelujah. And nullification. And nullification. And cancellation. Aye, come on now, that there'll be no more manifestation. Hey, yeah. Without hey. hesitation. Hey, yeah. Come on, somebody. Get into it and sort it out. Pay the price yes. with what you declare so that your future people mm -hmm. can live free. Hey, hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. My son will never know hypertension. Diabetes. My son will never know cancer. My son will never know failings. My son will never know a B or a C. A's only. For he's more than a conqueror. My son will never know a life of sin, Satan, and demonic activities. Hallelujah. 
but he will know the victory of the name of Yeshua, the Hamashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. That's how we got to think. That's how we got to speak. And that's how we got to walk. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right, let's get into some word. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We have a little time and we will use it wisely. Okay, so we remember that this week we're doing the battle of the mind. Hallelujah. And then we're going to link the battle of the mind to gluttony on Friday because it starts in the mind and ends up in the belly or should I say on the waist. Why, 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 why are you looking at me? My wife waist going down nicely now that she's on the fast. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bless Jesus. <laughs> if my wife, me can trouble her. Well, I'm long enough on her face. <laughs> Bless God. I didn't even um, welcome you guys. I was so excited this morning. The Spirit of God just had me going, going, going. But um, hallelujah. On behalf of Marsha Wade and Rowan Wade saying, hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, man. And he's doing marvelous work. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, man. Marsha is already celebrating that she can jump up into our clothes. Easy, easy. Can you imagine we get to a place where we're celebrating that we can get into our clothes? Easy. <laughs> hallelujah. Thank God for fasting. Bless Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Celebrate. Uh, bless the Lord. Okay. So we're doing the battle of the mind. And as I said, on Friday, we're going to culminate with, um, with how the battle of the mind is lost when gluttony is demonstrated. Where as we start to expand and we're not pregnant, as we start to expand as a result of being pregnant with too much food, uh, that often is gluttony, but it starts in the mind. It starts in the mind. We envision in our mind the size of the, the mountain of food that must be on our plate. And so our mind is eating more than our stomach can hold. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, okay. So, so, so we're talking about the battle of the mind and we want to start off with Romans 12, verse 2 and 3. So turn to it, Romans 12, Romans 12, verse 2 and 3. Hallelujah. We're going to break down and we're going to go into some of the, the, um, the, the words defined in the Greek. Uh, so Romans 12, verse 2, begin. And be not conformed or suskematizo, 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 that's the Greek word for conformed, and it means to fashion self according to do not fashion yourself according to the desires according to this world according to what you see so if you live in america do not fashion yourself to the ways and the culture that every morning you have to stop at that donut place mm -hmm. come on you have to get a big cup of that um mermaid coffee place you know that mermaid coffee place? Yeah. yeah, that green place with the mermaid as this insignia that every time that you drink, you're drinking a coffee that a mermaid has made. Hmm. Hey, <laughs> read into it what you will. I can't say anymore. Bless the name of Jesus. But you drink this big medium cup of, um, of, of, of latte with, with sugar galore, uh, milk galore, and all these kinds of things. Because you have conformed, you, you, you came into that system and the system says each morning you have to have one of these. Come on. You get uh, two or three glazed donuts because them things taste good. Yeah, I love them too. I'm not going to sit here and, and, and act pompous like, yeah, I, I, I don't love those things and that's why I can preach against it. I love it like, whoa, I will eat a dozen. But it doesn't mean because the word hit me that it's not going to be spoken. Because it's true. And so we are conformed to these kinds of actions and we get sucked in. Nicolette, leave the people them alone. <laughs> Nicolette, why? <laughs> Nicolette, Buckley, behave yourself. <laughs> oh my God, hallelujah. We are having a good time, amen? Hallelujah. And so that's what happens, guys. In Jamaica, um, I, I, Joseph will tell us what, what is the specialized meals that they have in, in Tobago. And, and somebody in London might, might say fish and chips. Uh, but in Jamaica, 
a really prized breakfast is ackee and saltfish with fried dumplings and fried planting and, 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 and bananas and a piece of yam and these things. And sometimes it, it looks so good. You see Jamaicans take pictures of these lovely looking plates and we, we, we send them out. And, and, and so we eat so much in the morning. And, but let me tell you a secret. The more you eat before 8 a.m. is the quicker you're hungry. By 12, you feel like you're starving, like you never ate anything. If you eat some fruits, come on somebody, by the Spirit of God, if you eat some fruits and have a cup of tea, first thing in the morning, you'll find that you can go all the way up until lunchtime and feel comfortable. I didn't know that until this time of this fast. I take a, a, um, a tablet in the mornings and so I eat a, a few pieces of fruit and I'm like, wow, I should have known this long time. Does it mean I'm not going to have my, my, my ackee and saltfish and fried dumplings and, and, um, and, and boiled banana once in a while? Uh, sorry to disappoint you. I will. But I'm not hooked to it anymore. I don't have to conform to that as a normity. I don't have to conform to that as a, as a culture. I can just have it as a, as a, as a pleasure. Come on. Because fruits are more healthy for me and that works better because 12 one o'clock i'm still not hungry when i eat the fruits amen so be not conformed to this world suske matido matizo um to fashion yourself according to so do not fashion yourself according to this world but be ye transformed be he changed, be he transformed. And the Greek word there for transformed is metamorpho. Metamorpho. M E T A M O R P H O. Metamorpho comes from the word metamor or the word metamorphis comes from it. Hallelujah. Meta, the first uh, three, four letters, M E T A, meta means or denotes change of place or condition change of place or condition so when you are transformed when you come into god you recognize that god does not want you to conform yourself to the cultures and the natures and even the foods do you know why the lord says we must eat lobster and crab and shrimp not because necessarily it's a sin but because they are scavengers by natural nature they are filled with cholesterol that's why they're nice so <laughs> Let me tell you the truth, Carmine. I don't like crab anymore like that, but lobster and shrimp, oh man, you can give me a plate full. But the more of it you consume is the more you're going to have to spend money at the doctor or the more you're going to have to labor on your knees saying, Lord, I repent, forgive me. But some of us rather go to the doctor because we're so guilty. We feel so bad that we consume what God said we shouldn't consume. So we are ashamed to go before God and say, Lord, heal me of high cholesterol. Because I know how much shrimp I consumed. But I'm, I, hey guys, don't feel, don't quarrel with me. Shrimp nice. Mm -hmm. So is sin. Sin nice. <laughs> Are you willing to pay the consequences? Are you willing to pay the price? Because sin nice. Disobedience have a consequence. Those of you who have children, when you tell your child, come home right after school. And the child didn't come home after school and got into a fight in the town or where the, or the bus stop because the bully was waiting one hour later. The bully turned up at the bus stop two hours later after the child should have reached home. Saw your child, began to beat up on your child and the child comes home and says, Daddy, Daddy, Mommy, Junior beat me up, bust my ears, bust my eye, sprayed my hand, look here, my chip up, Mommy. When did you see Junior? It was at the bus stop. Really? What time? Uh, five o'clock. Really? But you were supposed to be home at three. Uh, uh, disobedience has consequences. So you know what my grandmother would do? She would go inside as if she's going for the for the um for the calamai lotion, or she's going for not calamai lotion. She's going for the uh, we lotion. call it purple lotion. That's it. Like she's going for the purple lotion, and she'd come out with the belt. And by the time you seek to run, remember you're in pain because you just get beat up, she put on some more pain. Next time, obey. Juna would not see you when he comes and he would have to beat up someone else. So, so thank God, God does not treat us like our grandmother. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
but we have to obey. And so I, I'm not here telling you or preaching to you, say you mustn't eat your pork and you must eat your shrimp and you mustn't eat your lobster. I'm just saying, do it with a consciousness that you don't eat too much in one serving and that you don't overindulge in any given month. So you can eat some shrimp in, one, in, 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 in the month. If you eat some shrimp in the first week, you can eat some lobster in the last week. If you don't like lobster, you can eat some shrimp again the last week of the month. But don't be eating shrimp every week for the month. Come on, man. Hallelujah. So, okay. So be transformed means uh, meta, denoting change of place or condition. And the morpho to transfigure, change one's form. So when you when you are uh, that is the, that that um that marfu is the the transfigured that is described on the mount of transfiguration when Jesus went up and had a conversation with Elijah and with Moses, amen. And so he's saying once he comes into our lives, a a, a, a metamorpho takes place and we are transformed, we're changed, and people must begin to see that change, amen. So once upon a time, Debbie Ten would, 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 would hold her wrist, run to the doctor, or run to the hospital, and the doctor would get her money, put something on her hand that she could get for free from the Spirit of God and charge her good money for it. Now that she's been transformed, come on, hallelujah. She get that download from the doctor Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And so, um, transformed. So, so, so we transfigure, we change, and we become someone else. And it says, by the renewing, the renewing, and that word renewing, now we get into the mind. Renewing, that word means anak ahi nosis. Anak ahi nosis. <laughs> don't try to pronounce it, you're going to bite your tongue, and we don't want to have to pray for the healing of that. Anakalinosis. And that means renewing or renovation, which makes a person different from the past. Renovation. For those of you who have ever bought a house that is old or have ever lived in a house that once used to, Jamaica is going through a massive transition now where houses are either being renovated uh, to, 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 be, to look different and to be different or being completely demolished and new apartment structures are going up on the place where one, a single family house used to be. And so that renovation speaks to God coming into our lives and renovating everything, body, soul, and spirit, mind, will, and emotion, everything. And people will know if you watch HGTV and see some of these programs, man, that when they get in there, hallelujah, um, and Somebody, just... Excuse me, one minute. Somebody wanted to spell the word. The word uh, anachionosis. Renewing of the mind. Yeah. Yes, okay. It's A N. A K A H E E N O S I S and Akio and Aki no sis. Is the pronunciation? No, but the pro sometimes all them pronounces are not sis. Mm. All right. Tell him I spell it for them. Yes, we, we're gonna get the yeah right. I just did the pronunciation because I wanted to, to be able to, to pronounce it. Um, anaki anaki no sis. The, the correct spelling is gonna come. We're gonna look, look that up again and um and give it a correct Where spelling. Are you Romans, right? um, Romans twelve, okay. verse two. Okay, so that means renewing. Or a renovation which makes a person different than in the past. So that old house of our old life, that battered, beat up house that Satan used to just ravage through and never kept clean and never, never refurbished, never, never, never did any upgrades. Jesus has come to give us a refurbishing, an upgrade. Mm. Hallelujah. So he has knocked down walls. He has given us an open concept kitchen and living room. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So where we sit and where we, where we minister, we can see there from the kitchen. So as we, I, I, we're, we have access now in one go to food 
of the natural and food of the spirit. Oh, come on, somebody. That's what God's open concept living room and kitchen and dining room gives us. The place where we eat, the place where we, where we, where we talk and discuss, the place where we cook. Hallelujah. All on one level, in one space. Open concept. And so when we're renovated from having all of these, these rooms, block off, block off, block off. Hallelujah. You find it? Right. What's the correct spelling? A-N-A. A-N-A. K-A-I. K-A-I. N-O. N-O. S-I-S. S-I-S. All right. So that's the correct spelling for an akinosis. An akinosis. Yes. To renew the mind. To renew the mind. Sorry about that, my bad. I will put the correct spelling first. I, because we're just flowing, I just never remember that you would need to have the correct spelling or that any of you would be interested in the correct spelling of the Greek. Yeah, but my bad. Greek. That's correct. That's correct. Come on. Good, good job, guys. Good job. Not your bad. My bad. Hallelujah. So I'll do better next time. All right. Cool. So, so, so that's the renovation. And what are we renovating? The renovation of your mind. So God has to come in. Remember how you think? Even some of us now as Christians, we continue to be fearful, doubting. We continue to worry uh, and get anxious. And God says, do not be anxious for anything, but with everything with prayer and supplication. But because our mind has not been fully renovated, an akinosis has not taken place. Hallelujah. In our mind, we continue to get anxious and so the renewing of the mind that the mind is nusi and o o c e that's nusi that's the pronunciation i think the the um the correct spelling uh find that for me as well mind nusi hallelujah pardon me pardon me today marsha is going to come with the correct spelling for for nusi um in a second and and that means the intellect thought feeling our will so our mind reflects our thought our feelings and our will that is why you can't be open your feelings if you're open your feelings at everything that anybody say your mind has not been renewed when people spoke negative things to jesus he didn't get all up in his feelings huh n-o-u-s n-o-u-s that's the correct spelling for nusi which is the mind. So your mind is nusi. And that's N-O-U-S. Mm -hmm. N-O-U-S. Ah, so that's the Greek for your mind. And so you, you, we're going to be praying those things. God, cause a transformation of my mind. Cause a nusi. Hallelujah. To be reflected. A mind of intellect. A mind of, 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 of good thoughts. A mind of, 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 of the feelings of your infirmity. Every Come on. Every good and perfect thing. That it which is, is just. Pure. That which is true. Hallelujah. That which is holy. That which is righteous. That which is loving. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's what we will think on. And our old thoughts of lust and pride and, 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 and these nasty things will be deleted from us. Because we have been renovated. Amen. Hallelujah. Our mind is the seat of emotions and affections. A mode of thinking and feeling. A disposition. A person's inherited qualities of mind and character. Which means our thought processes, the way we process things, the way we, we, we go about things was inherited. It was not what God had intended for us. We inherited that because we're born in sin and shaped in iniquity. So our shape is not this, you know. Food shapes this, but our environment shapes this. Oh, come on, somebody. That's why when we go into a church environment, we expect to have people around us that will help to shape this the way God wants it to be shaped. Mm -hmm. And if we don't, then we're going to have problems. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because... Our shaped mind, hallelujah, our shaped mind forges our character. So when we begin to think different, people begin to see a different demonstration of character. Daily, daily, I seek to demonstrate a character that is pleasing to God first and to my wife second. 
No one says it's easy. So don't start throwing up your face and saying, Lord, they, may, I have to go, may, may I have to go live in a way that is pleasing to this person around me. You know how oh, they're miserable, they're hard for please. Yes. Uh huh. But if you please God, if your character and nature, your thought process, your way of thinking and speaking and living is pleasing to God, no matter how miserable and cantankerous the persons who are in your family or in your space, in your office, in your workplace, in your company are, they will also be pleased. Will they love you? Will they embrace you? Will they, will, will they be happy for who you are? God never guarantee you that. The more you become like Christ is the more enemies you will have even in your household. But that's not the point. That's not the point. Because if the world loves you, then chances are you're none of his. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because the, the, the word is telling you be not conform to the world. That's correct. So if you find that you are agreeing too much with, with people the world. who are in mm -hmm. the world, that means you're not conformed. You have conformed to the world. Mm -hmm. And that means you have not conformed to the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just going to finish verse 2. We're out of time. Finish verse 2, and then we're going to um, pick up again tomorrow. This mind thing, man, it's, it's, it's serious. And we have to dive into it in a deeper way so that we understand how we declare, what we declare over our minds so that we can, every morning you have to prophesy something concerning your mind. I have the mind of Christ. I have the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. I have a strong mind, a sound mind. I am intelligent. I have great intellect, great wisdom. My mind can store the word of God in great numbers, great proportion. Every verse I remember accurately from Genesis 1 to Revelation 21. I am a repository of the word of God. Hallelujah. I have to declare these things so that your mind begins to hear and respond to what it's supposed to be. The sharpest mind in the world. Hallelujah. And so Fourth Watch family must have the sharpest minds in the world. Glory to God. Okay, hurrying through, hurrying through. Um, and, and it says that the mind is also called the heart. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So when they talk about the heart, they, they really rarely ever, unless it's either sickness or them say that you have a good, uh, uh, um, a, a, a healthy heart. But when people say you have a good heart, it means that you have a good way of thinking. You think good about other people. Come on. That's what a good heart. Somebody says, boy, you have a good heart. Eh? It is usually because of the things that you automatically do out of your character for other people. It is not with this organ called the heart that pumps the blood they're talking about because they can't see that. Amen. So it's usually called the heart. So I hope you understand that. I know you do. Okay. Um, so you're renewing of your mind that you may prove that you may prove what is good what is that good and acceptable hallelujah or well pleasing acceptable there in the scripture in the new king james version i think it is it says acceptable what is that good and acceptable well pleasing mind will and emotion body soul and spirit well pleasing and perfect and perfect will of God and that perfect there is teleios teleios that which is that which has reached its end perfect there means that which has reached its end so when our mind is renewed, when we no longer conform to the world, when we are transformed, when the renewing of our mind has come to a place where it is pleasing to God, God says it is acceptable because you have gotten to that perfect end. Hallelujah. And that which is reached, its end. Term limit, full, lack nothing. That perfect will of God. God's perfect will for us. The spelling? T E L E I O S. T E L E I O S. Okay, I got this one right. <laughs> Telios. Tel Teleios. Teleios. T E L E I. T E L E I O S. Okay, I got this one right. Glory to God. At least I get one before the time. All right, so 
that is so so guys just please i beg you go back over this particular verse and just pick out these words conform transform renewing mind uh acceptable perfect and will lord i ask you this morning on behalf of this fourth watch family cause our lives not to be conformed to this world but to be transformed by your spirit mm -hmm. through the renewing of our minds. Renew our thinking. Renew our, our, our speaking. Renew our soul, O oh God Almighty. Mm -hmm. Let our minds be the mind of Christ. Yes, Your word says, let this mind be in you. Let your mind be in us, O oh God Almighty. Let this Fort Watch family think from your mind. Let our thoughts be your thoughts. Let our ways be your ways. Because from our thoughts will come our ways in the name of Jesus Christ. And let our thoughts and our ways be acceptable mm -hmm. in your sight. And confirm that it is the perfect will of God mm -hmm. for us. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. And amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. That has been intense. And a lot for this morning. It's time for communion. Hallelujah. I hope you were not overfed. No gluttony around here. Hallelujah. The, the word. We must get fat on the word. But if we're, if we're feeding on the word. The only way we will not get fat. Is if we exercise. And that means going and being and doing. Demonstrate what you have learned. Go tell somebody today. About the importance. Of not conforming to the world. You don't want your children to spar with some friends who are smoking and drinking and doing wanton, wild, crazy things. You don't want your children to conform to that. Therefore, you must care about persons at your workplace. Persons who get into a culture of gossip, laziness, don't want to do their work, and they just join the company. They're going to get fired. Your job is to go and counsel them, advise them. Come on, son. Come on, daughter. Do not be conformed to the culture, that negative culture in this office. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind to stay focused. The managing director's job can be yours in a few years if you stay focused. Give them something to be encouraged by. And when they get to the managing director position, if you are still working there, glory to God. Because God never put you there to become managing director. He put you there to help those who wants to grow. To seek first the kingdom. And when, you become, when he becomes managing director or she... They will look out for you and make sure that you're all right because they'll remember that you are the one that caused God's perfect will to come to pass in their lives. And I tell you, that feels good. Amen? Hallelujah. So, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that we are conformed only to your kingdom and your kingdom principles. And we thank you that your perfect will is what come, takes place in our lives daily, today and all of our days. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, as we are about to eat of your body and drink of your blood, we ask that you will search our thoughts, search our words, search our actions. See if there be anything that has happened in us or is happening in us that causes us to conform to this world. Cleanse us, O God, and forgive us of all unrighteousness. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen. Lord, we ask that you will sanctify and consecrate these emblems even now. Let them truly be the representation of your body and of your blood. And may as we eat of your body and drink of your blood, in remembrance of you, that Lord, your true body is transformed, hallelujah, into us and us into you. And your life from your blood fills up that body so that we walk, talk, live, move and have our being. In you, by you, for you. In Jesus' name, amen. So as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he broke it, he blessed it, and he gave it to the disciples. He said, eat, this is my body, broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And likewise, he took the cup, he blessed it, he took a sup, and he said, Drink, this is my blood, 
the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me, my death, burial, and resurrection, until I come. Drink ye all of his blood and take in his life by faith in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I hope you were blessed. I, I, I saw a message just this morning from one of our family members, Sister Annie G. Hallelujah. That her, her, her dog had pup last night. Hallelujah. And they were, they, it looked like the puppy was, was going to die. And they were over the puppy speaking life, declaring hands upon the puppy. Let me tell you, Fort Watch family members, we are going to become so empowered that even, hey, mm, even animals, we're calling back to life. Insects, we're calling back to life. Somebody kill a lizard. Lizard, come back to life in the name of Jesus. The women are going, ew, no. We want them to stay gone. Hallelujah. But uh, Annie G, we congratulate you. Thank God for you. That's practicing what we have learned. Because if you can command a puppy to come back to life, then you'll command humans to come back to life as well. Life from the death of sin and life from the death of real dying to flesh in the name of jesus christ amen hallelujah getting bigger every day, we're getting bigger every day come on in hallelujah practice on dog and next thing you know we're going to the hospital can you imagine a fourth watch crew 12 10 of us going down to um kph emptying out the place oh, joseph and a couple of other people from tobago going to the hospital in tobago emptying out the hospital the doctors are looking like what is this so we're doctors on assignment. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're bigger every day. Bigger every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. May the Lord download his love in your heart, in our hearts, his mind, his will, and his perfect perfect execution in every element and aspect of our body thank you lord that your people are blessed going out and coming in they're blessed laying down and rising up thank you that they're blessed in the city and in the country thank you that they're blessed to be a blessing to who they come in contact with today and every day in jesus name amen so go forth guys Hallelujah. And have an amazing day. God's way. For our God has already, already shaken everything, everything that, that is evil out of, of your day. His way. way. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Remember, Jesus, Jesus love you. And we love the whole of our honor too. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Friends on Instagram. Hallelujah. Go forth, man. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Friends on Facebook, friends on YouTube. God bless you. God bless you. Awesome. Go make a difference, man. Make a difference in even one person's life. I encourage you. I implore you. Practice to make a difference. Impact someone with your actions, with your words, with your confidence, with your faith. Impact someone because that one might be a Billy Graham. It is well. Oh, it sounds like she played the song for herself alone, so. Hey, hey, yeah, man, I know. I'm just messing with you, baby. Be guy every day. I hear some of you talking about, boy, I'm going to teach faster with a different dance move. I'm getting, I'm getting. Hey, hey, hey. Be guy in the spirit. Hallelujah. No limitations. No limitations. Come yes. on. As our minds are renewed, we get bigger every day. No, no limitations. limitations. We're taking over. I like to add a word to the people I'm singing on. No limitations and no hesitation. If you hesitate, you can't get bigger every day. Come on. Hallelujah. But the song perfect enough without my intervention. Hey. Bigger, bigger, bigger. God bless you. Go get bigger at work. Go get bigger if you're working from home. Go get bigger in your family. Go get bigger in your community. Go get bigger in your nation. Get bigger because the biggest God in the universe, hallelujah, God? is in you. That means you should get bigger every day to become like him. 
Hallelujah. Love you guys. Blessings. Hallelujah. Big up. Not by power, not by might, but by the spirit of the living God. Mm. Sweet. What a way sweet. <laughs>